All right, so I'm on another Facebook ban. Woohoo! I'm gonna read you the exact comment I was Facebook banned for. By the time I threatened to take Alicia and Rose to court, my life had been threatened hundreds of times and I had been physically assaulted close to 50 times. It was actually 30 or more, but I don't think it was quite 50. If we just talk about the civilian assaults, it's about 30. If we're talking about the police assaults, we're talking about at least 7, possibly an additional 30. Um, but I guess I ought to read this from the beginning. By the time I threatened to take Alicia and Rose to court, my life had been threatened hundreds of times and I had been physically assaulted close to 50 times. I did threaten to kill those who threatened to kill me. It was the only way to force a day in court with the police unwilling to look at anything I had to show. They're reviewing the comment. But it don't matter if they review it or not. It don't matter if Facebook accepts it or not. I'm used to these 30-day bans. These folks do everything they can to try to shut down my voice and prevent me from speaking. They don't want the truth coming out. That's what it all comes down to. These people harass me for others and that makes it okay. Like Blaine McCrelly is harassing me over uh, Ken and Leah. What, Ken and Leah can't wipe their own ass? That's because they're fucking cowards just like Alicia. They know they did wrong or they wouldn't be hiding. Same thing with Shelly Campbell. Same thing with Danica Garner. Same thing with Ted Bollinger. So, there's a lady here who works at Starbucks, and she's like, it can't be that hard to make a police report. So we open it up. Tried Boulder County, and we also tried uh, Arapahoe County. Boulder County, first of all, has a time limit. You got 30 minutes to do it, which I already knew. I posted about that before. You can look it up. Um, the other thing is their online reporting thing doesn't have options for the things that I'm trying to report. Those things have to be done over the phone, apparently. So I can't send them any evidence. All I can do is call them up and talk about it. So Jessica's going to write a report about how impossible it is to navigate either one of those because there's no options. They tell you specifically if this is a... that if it's an online report, it's only if you don't know who the... Who the perpetrator is. Well, I know who the perpetrators are. I had to do some pretty inventive things in order to show the truth. Knowing that they were against the law for me to do them. It's worth the rest of my life in prison to see to it that these predators ne never get to harm anyone again. To see that Lola Ty spends the rest of his life behind prison bars. Seven assaults in less than a year by one officer. Seven assaults that we are aware of perpetrated by just one officer. Jessica got to see some stuff about Clearview. They literally killed a man. Doing the same thing that they did to me. Drugging him. Now, unfortunately, there was some stuff that I really wanted to post. I really wanted to take screenshots and show it to everybody. However, with my Facebook ban, that is not currently a happening thing. Now, on my paperwork, there's some magic stuff they magically forgot to put in there. 
Like, number one, they assaulted me before drugging me. Number two, I was trying to make a police report. Number three, I informed them that drugs don't work right in my system. They didn't heed that warning. The only thing they were interested in at Clearview is that they had themselves a killer and they were going to catch him. These people did these evil things that they did because they wanted to say, I was the one who busted Sean Schwartz for the murder of Natalie Bollinger. Well, no, you didn't. These people are smiling in the video. Smiling. Now, they didn't want me to have the video, but Jill Gookin fucked up. Amanda Bailhash wouldn't allow me access to that video because she was afraid that I would expose it on YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna. As soon as I figure out how to get the goddamn thing to work. Dalton Crawford. Well, he's on a Facebook ban himself. He'll probably be on it for a while. I'll check back in 24 hours and report another one of his comments. 72 hours after that, I'll report another one of his comments. Seven days after that, I will report another one of his comments. 30 days after that, I will report another one of his comments. While these people were playing victim and going out of their way to prevent me from being able to speak or defend myself, while they slandered me across Facebook. Yeah, you goddamn right I'm going to speak up. Now, Jessica, she's pretty fucking annoyed right now. She came in a few hours early from work. We spent a couple of hours trying to figure out how to get them goddamn things to work as far as filing a police report online. But literally, there's no category for it. There's no category for the things that I need to report online. Imagine that. So no matter what I do, I get fucked. I literally cannot file a police report online. At first, I thought, hey, there must be something wrong with me. I can't figure this shit out. However, in the last week, three other people have sat down with me to help. Something that had not happened, literally had not happened, since Natalie died. And now, three other people can verify that this shit doesn't work. How the fuck do you make a goddamn report? Online. You have to do that online. Okay, I tried it online. You have to come in in person. I go in in person and you fucking assault me. Literally every fucking dirty trick that they thought they could get away with, they pulled. And I can prove it with their own words. That's the pathetic part. They left a massive paper trail... A paper trail that, really, the only thing you need to do to arrest 100 officers is get somebody to look at that paper trail. So, uh... There's no way to make the police report, I guess. I mean, I could... Uh, I could call it vandalism or theft, I guess. That's about the closest that they got on there. The things that I'm trying to report are felonies. Felonies.
people want me to apologize for a bunch of shit that I didn't choose. And although Natalie, on her very own Facebook, said that we never had a sexual relationship, that we were just friends. But you know, that Kara Miles, that's not what she wrote. She lied outright on a police report. My attorney wouldn't even show up to fucking court. She kept on skipping out and skipping out. Always some excuse. The problem is those excuses prevented me from being able to defend myself in court. When I tried to fire the woman for not doing her job, the judge told me that I couldn't fire her. Then the next court date, the 18th, my birthday, well, that lawyer had lied to me repeatedly. Matter of fact, she started off trying to convince me to lie about Ken and Leah's vehicle. She wanted me to say that somebody else lit it on fire and I just heard about it. Well, fuck you, lady. That's a lie. I lit the fire. She also said Ken and Leah did not want to press charges. That the state did it. But the state wrote differently on their paperwork. Now... My lawyers, all of them, told me things that are conflicting with what the police told me. So those lawyers and those police need to be called onto the stand. Was it the lawyers that were lying to me, or was it the police that were lying to me, or was it both? Every single one of my public pretenders did me wrong. Every one of them. A lot of people keep telling me, Sean, they talk to a lawyer, talk to a lawyer. You know, your public pretender is supposed to do this, and your public pretender is supposed to do that. Really? Because according to my public pretenders, those aren't their jobs. You're damn right I'm speaking out. And I'm never going to stop. I should have been allowed to defend myself. I wasn't allowed to defend myself in these Natalie Bollinger groups while they slandered and hated and sent people after me through that slander and hatred. The same thing the Boulder Police did by assaulting me and charging me with assault. You know why I'm so pissed off at uh, Adams County right now? Broomfield, there was an officer by the op name of Officer Ryan. That is how he identified himself. This officer was supposed to come take my police report and take me somewhere safe. Guess what? That didn't happen. What was I talking to Officer Ryan about? I was talking to him about the harassment and the assaults that I was going through. The fact that these people wouldn't stop. I wasn't trying to kill myself. I was trying to catch a killer, you fucking pieces of shit.